Hey guys, it's Pop Nerd here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make a quick and easy alien landscape scene on Blender. So in this tutorial, we won't be modeling anything, instead we'll be using free displacement maps and assets. So for the landscape, we'll be using a free height map pack made by Jose Vega, and for the background planets and colony assets, we'll be using Beam Studios space exploration assets. I'll be leaving the download links to those in the description below. And a huge shout out to these creators because assets like these would usually cost up to hundreds of dollars, so go show them some support for allowing us to create these awesome scenes in just a couple of minutes. That being said, let's get started. So the first couple of steps in this process will be the same as the last tutorial, so I'll go through these a little faster. Once you have Blender open, just select that default cube and light and let's delete those. And let's add in a plane and scale it up. Once you've done that, let's go into edit mode and subdivide the plane a bunch of times. Make sure that your render engine is set to cycles and go to your shading tab. Select your plane, create a new material and add in an image texture node and a displacement node. Connect the color to the height and the displacement to the displacement. Now in our image texture node, let's open up one of the height maps that we downloaded. There are lots of options to choose from in this pack, I'll just be using one of the canyon maps. Go to the material settings and under surface make sure your displacement type is set to displacement and bump, and then go to rendered view to see the displacement. You can also adjust the scale in the displacement node to control the height of your landscape. I'll be setting mine to 0.5. Once you've done that, let's find a good location and angle to place the camera. After that we'll move on to what I consider the most important step, lighting. Set your world color to black and Add in a sun lamp and make sure that the lighting in your scene isn't too flat because the right angle and amount of shadows can either make or break your scene. To texture the planet, I'll just increase the roughness and select the color for the landscape in the shading tab, though I highly recommend using PBR or image textures for better results. You can also mess around with the color of the sun lamp to see what works. Now let's add some atmosphere. I'll be using a volume node for now but stick around till the end to see another method. Make a cube and scale it up so that it covers your entire landscape and give it a new material. Delete the principled BSDF and add in a principled volume node and plug that into the volume. I'll give both density and emission strength a value of 0.001 but as always I recommend messing around with the values to see what works for you. I also made the emission color light orange to match the landscape to give it a Martian-like atmosphere, but once again do what suits the world that you're building. For better looking results, go to your scene settings and under color management, change the look from none to high contrast. Last but not least, let's add in some assets from Beam Studios Space Exploration Pack. This pack has a bunch of awesome stuff, and you can really have fun with what you want to add to your scene. I'll just go to file and append some basic colony assets and background planets as objects. I'll use the Jupiter asset as the main background planet and the Mercury asset as a moon. And there you go, you have your alien landscape. You can always add more assets and use better textures for better details, but this is a great base for concept art and backgrounds. And as I promised, here's another way to add an atmosphere to your scene in the compositing workspace. Delete the cube with the volume node and render your scene. Once rendered, go to the compositing tab and add in a viewer node. Connect the image to the image and make sure that you have backdrop activated. Add in a normalize node in between and connect the depth to the value. You should now be able to see the depth patch, which will be our atmosphere. To adjust the levels, add in a color ramp in between and play around with the values. Now press shift plus with the color ramp selected to add an add node. Connect the image to the empty slot and you can mess around with the hue in the color ramp to find an atmosphere that matches your scene. And there you go. To save this image, open an image editor tab and select the viewer node. Hit image, save as, and you'll be able to save this wherever you'd like. And that's it. I hope this tutorial was useful and let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys next time.